You left the house early. I just wanted some time alone. It's a big day for your daughter. Yes, it is. You look very handsome. You look gorgeous as always. But not dressed for a wedding. I'm not going. You awake? I hardly slept. Ditto. <laughs> Do you think it's bad luck talking to me before the wedding? I mean, it's not like you're actually seeing me, right? There's no such thing as bad luck when it comes to us. The last time you saw me before our wedding, I went over a cliff. You'll have to understand if I have some nerves about luck. Today is going to be your perfect day, Greenlee, and then every day after that... It's just going to get better and better. It is, isn't it? It's finally here. Our wedding day is really finally here. Nice flowers. Frankie, you sure you want to be here? We're only open half a day. I might as well work. Right, but not exactly the best place to be if you want to forget about Ryan and Greenlee's wedding. I'll deal. Chocolate helps. Thank you, but one of those I will actually pop out of these. Hmm. Well, then maybe it's time we go maternity shopping. You're probably right. Decaf or tea? No, I'm, I'm good. Thanks. Okay, okay, I got your message, all right? But are you really gonna choose a work day over a fun-filled madcap day with Scotty C? It's, I've got tons to do. Madison, I thought the whole idea was to be far away from this wedding as possible. It was. You know, I just gotta suck it up and be a grown-up. I see, so this is the answer, huh? Yeah. Bury your head and report some projections. Just a few floors above where Ryan and Green are getting married. Huh. Okay, so tell me. How's that working out for you? It's not. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? You got all the stuff you need for Kendall. Oh, ready, set, ready to Does go to Greenlee's? Nice? Are you set to go to Ryan's? Yes. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yes, I got everything I need. I got All right, it. can I see the rings? Where is that? Not funny. No, I, I'm... Okay, yeah, right here. And they're together. It's kind of cute. Right? see a box like that? Nice. Mm. You want to know why I'm wearing the ring? Because I left to protect you. That's why I'm wearing the ring. Because making you believe that I didn't love you, that was the only way. Was it true? Absolutely not. Of course I loved you. In fact, I still love you, Jake. Jake. Hi. Hey. You're gorgeous. Tell you that today, how gorgeous you are? Twice. Twice, yeah. Let's make it three times. <laughs> I like weddings. You like weddings? I like big weddings. I like small weddings. I like yeah? Them. yeah? What was your wedding like? Well, I think you were there, weren't you, for both of them? Oh, you know, I mean, what's your name? Oh, yeah. um, what's your name? <laughs> yeah, well... Why are you gonna bring that up? It was, they were great. It was, I mean, it was a great, it was quick. It was during the, the it was a war go. Look, look we gotta go. <laughs> I wanna keep these people waiting at their All wedding. Right, right. All right, Beth, I'll, see, I'll you see you later. Yes, I will see you. We have a okay. lot of Valentine to do. All right. All right. Good morning, Valentine. Good morning. Mm. Mm. How'd you sleep? Oh, I always sleep the best when I'm next to you. Mm. I am so excited for our Valentine's dinner. Me too. And there's something that I want to talk oh, to Oh, no, you not about. yet. Not yet. Let me get dressed first. Tonight is going to be the best night ever. Did you talk to Annie yet? You know, it's not exactly easy to find the words to convince somebody to commit themselves to a psychiatric hospital. She nearly killed Kendall in your car. She handcuffed your sister out of the beach house, among other things. That alone should help you find the words. I just want to make sure that it's handled right. Being pulled off like that, that's, that's Annie's greatest fear, and I'm not going to do that to her. You don't have a choice. She's dangerous. I want Annie to know that I'm going to be with her every step of the way. That I'm not just throwing her away. 
Well, do you have an ETA for this, this little talk? Uh, I promised her a Valentine's dinner. I'm gonna tell her after that. What, you candles and... Uh, the, 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 the works, flowers? yeah. You're crazier than she is. Ryan and Greeley, they want a small ceremony. Intimate, just the immediate family. I thought you were family. Greeley's not even inviting her closest friends. I'm certainly not one of those. She invited you. Because of you. I don't think I'm exactly at the top of your list either at the moment. Don't be so sure. Well, I honestly think it will be better for everyone if I don't go. You're not gonna change your mind, are you? I think that Greenlee would actually even appreciate if I don't go. I think she might look at it as even a kind of a wedding present. Okay, then. Don't go. Okay, I promise I can show you a good time anywhere except here. It's sweet of you to offer. Maybe this is where I need to be. All right, I see. But something tells me that maybe Fusion could do uh, without you for half a day. Maybe it's the other way around, you know? Maybe I need Fusion. I need this job. Pregnant and single. I get that. I get that. But why? why? Why give yourself a front row seat to the wedding of the father of your child, right? I don't know. Just maybe, maybe I need to accept the inevitable. You know, see the reality and deal with it. <laughs> that sounds awful to me. Yet, ballsy. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. It is a compliment. All right, well, how about after work? Rain check. Absolutely. Hi, happy wedding day. Did I forget you were coming over this morning? Uh, no, no, it was Kendall's idea and, and Jake's. What is the idea, exactly? Well, I'm sort of like a messenger. Old, new, borrowed, blue, I've got them all. Sent with love from Kendall. So I want you to take as many pictures as you can of the wedding, okay, so you can show your mom. I wish she could come. Me too. Happy wedding day. Hey. How are you? Whoa, paparazzi's here already. It was me. Who was it? It was you. It was him. Yes. Never quite get used to the paparazzi. That's true. He's very good. Look yeah. out. Watch out. So, uh, what's going on? What can I, uh, what can I do for no, you? No, 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 It's what I can do for you. I know you got your hands full with the little one. You got green. It's just you guys. But I, oops. Oh. I took the liberty of, uh, picking up the rings. They're both in there. Yep, yeah. there they are. So, I'm at your service. Annie is already over the edge. What she did to Colby is proof enough of that. So what do you think you're gonna do, JR? You're gonna soften her up with romance and moonbeams and then suggest she takes a long trip to the Happy Tablet Resort and Spa? There's no telling how she's gonna come on school. I'm not gonna turn my back on her. I'm not gonna act like I'm throwing her away like my father did to my mother. That, 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 that's completely different. Adam tried to make your mother think she was crazy so he could get you away from okay, her. Okay, fine, I isolated her. I asked her to lie from me. I put her in an impossible situation, and she cried. J.R. Annie never had her hands on reality in the first place. It has nothing to do with you. It's not your fault. I need you to let me do this. I respect what you're trying to do for Annie. But if things don't go the way you think they're going to, you're going to need a plan B. They were made for me. Oh, they weren't made. 
made for you. They belong to JR's mother. How dare you even touch them? JR would want me to have these, especially because I'm going to be part of his family. Of his family. <laughs> Again? How pathetic are you? He says that he has something very important to talk to me about. He dumped you, and it's Valentine's Day, so I'm assuming it's a proposal for me. JR might like the sex, but he'd never marry a lunatic like you. JR loves me. He has proven it over and over again. And only after you pressured him into it. What happens when he finds out what he did to Colby? Or the car accident? If he only... I don't even need the stupid earrings. Because tonight, I am going to get all the jewelry that I need. An engagement ring. Because JR is going to propose, and I am going to say yes, and we are going to get married, and there's nothing you can do to stop me.